All right, Halos, welcome back. How's everyone doing? Uh, we are back in Final Fantasy 16 once again. Uh, previously, we finished a little bit of the main story, just a tiny bit, and then uh, we also grabbed a side quest, finished that real fast. I think I'm going to go ahead and do a couple more quick side quests, and then we'll jump back straight back into the uh, the main quest here. But yeah, um, I know there's two of them over here at Martha's Rest, as we can see here. So let's go ahead and check these out and see, uh, see what we got. All right. Um... One's right up here, it looks like. Oh, no, wait. No, it's just, is this a quest? Hold on. Thank you for sticking with us. Those of us who are still here have to look after each other, don't we? Flesher. Ah, oh, welcome. Times may be hard, but if you got the gill, I got the goods. What can <laughs> I do you for? Unwanted violets. If you have them. Though I'd gladly settle for learning what they are if you don't. Boy, I haven't heard folk call him that since I was a lad. You're looking for scorpion tails. Unwanted violets is what folk used to call them back in the day. They turn a wicked purple when you boil them up. Hence the name. Used to chuck them in the pot when there weren't nothing else on offer. And there was a war on, that sort of thing. Thankfully, times aren't yet as hard as that. And even if they were, you wouldn't find anyone selling them these days. Do the scorpions still live nearby? I dare say they do. Three reeds would be your best bet. Memory serves. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Alright, cool. Uh, three reeds. Where's that again? Oh yeah, yeah, it's a different area. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and uh, sell a couple things real fast. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of the platinum sword, I think. Well... Eh, we can get the platinum sword for now, I guess. Let's get rid of this one, I think. Much obliged. Oh, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to buy it. Whoops. <laughs> I wanted one of those. Alright, anyways. Um, coral sword. Platinum sword. Should probably sell a couple of those, but I'm gonna wait on it for now. Uh, we can sell the platinum belt. Is that everything? Keep the medium cross for now, just in case. Uh, Berserker ring. Ooh. Uh, no. I think we'll save it for now. Let's see what else we can sell in here real quick. I know there was at least one thing. I wanted one I of those. Sell. There we go. Black blood as Is well. Is that everything? Empty shard. A fair trade. That's the other one. All right. That should be it for there. And then, yeah, should be set to go. Let's go ahead and sell a couple of these, though, as well. I wanted one of those. A fair there trade. Go. Got a good amount of gill on us as well, which is nice. Um, let's see. <clears throat> Where is a good way to... Oh, no, I want to look the local map. There we go. Uh, yeah, so this is one of the things we got to do. We might just fast travel over there or fast travel here as well. Do no harm. Let's do this one real quick. This one should be just close by here. There we go. Right along here somewhere. Ooh, a little bit of... The river was easy enough to find. Now for those herbs. Riled raptor. Okay. This might take a while. Oh, dang. Use everything, huh? Alright. Oh, nice. It's this one. Riled Raptor. Alright, that looks like it's uh did we get the loot? Oh here it is. Oh there's a couple oh I see yeah, yeah. Gather Ermonia. <coughs> This is the only plant around here with blue flowers. I hope it's the right one. Looks like lavender to me, but hey, what do I know? <laughs> Alright, there we go. Should be enough to keep the infirmary stocked for a while. Sweet. Uh, I will go back to him, but not right now. Uh, let's quickly go back to the local map real quick. And let's travel. Uh, uh, yeah, we can, we can travel here. Definitely gonna get one of the chocobo though. Come here, Ambrosia. Good girl. Oh, I wonder what he rides. I mean, obviously a chocobo, but like what kind? 
That's yeah. just the kind everyone else does, it looks like. Cool, cool. <laughs> oh wait, make sure I'm not missing it. Yeah, yeah, no, we gotta go through across here, it looks like. Should oh no not yet. We've still gotta go a little around just a little bit. And then we can turn right and find it real quick. Should be right over here somewhere. Yep. Forward and, s and to the right a little bit. Oh nice. Some loot. Oh just some kill. Nice. Scorpions. At least I know what I'm up against. Quick work of my least. Oh, nice. That was a pretty cool finisher. Unwanted violets. Nice. I better get this back to Yvonne before it goes bad. Certainly. Or any worse, at least. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and back to him real quick. No problem. Oh, shoot, wait, no. Is that the hideaway? <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Oops. That's fine, I guess. We'll go ahead and turn it in real quick. Sure did. I did indeed. Marvelous! Let's see. <gasps> What am I supposed to do with this? It's poisonous, surely. You wouldn't be wrong. But that's your unwanted violet. Uh, into the pot it goes, I suppose. Uh, wait here. I won't be long. Ew. I present... Chances stew, risen once again from the ashes of obscurity. Grab a spoon, Sid. Let's eat while it's hot. I'm, uh, not hungry. Well, it'll be too late once I've licked the bowl clean. Your loss. <laughs> mm. The salt on the senses is like choking on swamp water. And and yet, up through the pungency, there rise complex, meaty notes. It, <laughs> it takes a moment to recover from such an onslaught of flavors, but never have I tasted anything so fine. <laughs> Thank you, Sid. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> this gift. I won't rest until a steaming bowl of Chancer's stew sits before everyone in the hideaway. A single mouthful, and Molly will be breeding scorpions of her own. I'm sure she will. <laughs> Alrighty then. Culinary pilgrimage, getting some more renown. Badge of metal, increased defense by 30. Wow! That's a pretty nice, pretty nice badge, actually. I'm not going to use it right now, but, uh, yeah. It's a pretty good one, actually. Alright, um... Yeah, I think up here is the other one. Let me go ahead and turn in this quest real fast, and then I think we'll, uh... We might just start on the main quest again, after that. Alright, yeah, let's go ahead and turn in this quest real quick. I hope you didn't have too much trouble finding the ammonia. Nope, not too bad. Only the usual. Oh, 
yes. This is it. And more than I was expecting. I dare say the patient won't feel a thing. That is, unless I... You'll do fine. Taya trusts you. Which means I trust you. The hideaway would be lost without skilled physicists like yourself. Thank you for the kind words. Truly. But... I'm sorry. I'm still terrified. The brand is more than just ink on flesh. It's a death sentence. Milk of the wyvern tail lurking just below the surface of the skin. One ill-conceived incision. A single slip. And the poison fouls the patient's blood. Failure means death. And even success means tremendous pain. Days of agony as the wound heals. I became a physica to help people, not to kill them. I, I, I don't want to kill anyone. Curse breakers lead hard lives. And the operation is only the beginning. They toil in the shadows, risking life and limb, knowing their efforts will win them neither glory nor acclaim. And yet we have no shortage of volunteers. The day I decided that I would take Sid's name was the same day Taya took my brand. I remember. It wasn't long after we came here. What little medicine Taya managed to salvage from the wreckage of the old place had been used up treating the wounded. She begged that your operation be delayed until a new supply of Antaldrix was found. The procedure was even more dangerous back then. Only a few souls had undertaken it. Doris, Cole, a handful of other curse breakers, and those who were no longer with us. Those who lost their lives in the process. It wasn't something to be done lightly. No. But it was something I had to do, if I was to take Sid's name. He always led from the front, and never asked anyone to take a risk for his cause that he was unwilling to take himself, even if he knew that it might cost him his life. <laughs> Hold still, Clive! Hold still! I knew there'd be pain. That I might not survive. And I was afraid. But I also knew that if I didn't overcome that fear, that pain, then I would never be able to call myself Sid. I didn't know. We all want our brands removed. But it's a decision each of us must make for ourselves, on our own terms. Rodrigue, I know your work isn't easy, but neither is going under the knife. Be a shoulder for your patients to lean on. Stay strong for them. <laughs> you sound like Tyre. You know what she once told me? It's natural for a patient to feel like they're suffering in solitude. And it's a physicist's duty to see that they don't. Thank you for helping me remember that. I won't falter. Not again. All right, quest complete. Do no harm. <clears throat> nice. Uh, ah, nice. Got some pretty good loot from that too. <clears throat> Though I, I haven't really been using those very much. Those uh, ingredients or items, or whatever. All right, uh, we do have this one we could grab real quick. Um, let me double check where it is. If it's like a quick one I can do, I might check it out. If it's not though, I might not. Uh, it's a little whiz away. Hmm. Nah, I'm, I'm just gonna skip it for now, honestly. Let's just go straight into the Velcroy Desert, Northwestern Dalmykia. Continue on the main quest here for a bit.
following Hugo Kupka. I was a young man when last I walked this path. There's an old trading post not far from here. The road to Drake's Fang leads through it. The trading post it is. Alright. Looks like we got some enemies that we can grab too if we want. Riddle of the Sands. Go ahead and read the chocobo then, I guess, right? Come on. Need a camel or something. Our destination lies over that dune, beyond the ruins. Mark them well, Clive. It's all too easy to lose one's bearings in the sands. Indeed. Many years ago, when you were just a boy, you and I rode this Did way. Say hell diver? Accompanying your father on a scouting expedition <laughs> to Drake's Fang. The game? He let me come with you. I'm not surprised you don't remember. It was just before Joshua was born. <laughs> you were so eager to be there when your brother arrived that you whipped your chocobo too hard on the journey home and fell from the saddle. <laughs> I shall never forget how Elwyn fussed over you as you sat in the sand, bawling like a babe. <laughs> oh. Who do you think those soldiers were in the inn? Friend of friend. So, Lord Cook has finally made it. They made that place into like a little rest haven area thingy. That's kind of neat. Ah, there she is. The good old Dalamil Inn. Do you know, this heat has given me quite a thirst. Uh, quick drink before we press on? I don't see why not, I guess. As long as it doesn't take too long. steeds no doubt about it and such a long ride from stone here our Waluda friends must be soothing their saddle sores in the inn shall we join them run along and play now Torgal dogs aren't allowed inside Assassin's Creed vibes. <laughs> Even got the eagle in the background. Whatever. The hawk screech. Day to you. Eating? <laughs> Sorry about my pal. He only talks when his mouth's full. What do you recommend? Well, if you're after something light, we do a fine chocobo soup with lentils and honey. Two bowls of that then. An ale. Right you are. Hey, go! Coming! Your pal? Would you rather be my squire?
Your Grace, it is plain you are not yet well enough to travel. If you would only let me take you to someone who can better attend to your ills. No, we must press on. Prince Theon has returned to his camp and will soon depart for the front. I must speak with him at all costs. Miss this chance and I may never get another. You do understand that? Yes, Your Grace. You must at least agree to take your medicine. I'll fetch you some water. Keep watch, they tell us. But all I see is sand. I hear they got our guest back to the Fang without any trouble. We'll be leaving soon enough. Why the Lord Commander dragged us all this way just to save that blockhead skin, I'll never know. Dominant or not, he's a bloody idiot. That'll be Cooker, then. <laughs> Shh. Well, let's get this down us. We have a long way to go. Hey, you. Uncle? Sorry. Can you walk, Your Grace? What's wrong? I fear trouble may be brewing downstairs. You two are travelers, are you not? <laughs> Me and my companions are strangers here. Perhaps you'd be good enough to accompany us a while. Come on, help us find our way. Sorry, lads. But we've got business in camera that can't wait. Ah, I'm sure you could spare us an hour or two. Come on, come on. Come on. Friend. to lose <laughs> friend <laughs> stay back uncle gladly right, watch this i'm gonna one try tomorrow real quick it's the outlaw take him try it there we go So close to 2300 uh, uh, ability points. <clears throat> nice. We are in trouble. Uh, word of advice, miss. That soup could do with a touch more salt.
Now's our chance. Your Grace? I'm fine. Yeah. What about the me medicine? What is it now? It means nothing. Let's go. We didn't know where to find Kupka before, we do now. The Royalists said it themselves. Their guest is in the Fang. We should press on before any more of their friends turn up. Alright, uh, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you guys for watching, I do appreciate it, and we will catch you guys in the next one. Alright, peace.